Yo, what's going on guys? We're gonna be doing some tank Vagar mid. We are up against a Zed, so I figured it was a better time now than ever. We have Grasp, we went for Fawn of Life, Conditioning, Overgrowth, then we have Biscuits and Time Warp. You could swap out Fawn of Life for anything though. I was kind of in a rush when I was making this page. I'm gonna go ahead and push and just try not to die from ganks. Pushing is the risky way to play this champion. It can pay off though. Got Grasp up, we're gonna bonk him. Get our auto down. Grass is about to be back up again. Keep a close eye on that. You don't want to miss any minions. This is one of the best scaling champions in the game. If you're missing farm, you're not going to scale the way you want to. We turned on a corruption potion since we're taking minion aggro and we're also trading off autos for the extra damage. Hit him with another grass. Let's go. I'm going to walk him down now. I don't really want to miss minions with that being said. It seems like it's inevitable. Bop him with a Q. He's lost a lot of health. It's going to be harder for him to harass us back. The closer you are to the minions, the easier it is to last hit, by the way. Your auto gets there faster. If you're hitting their minions, they kind of have to hit yours. Otherwise, they'll just miss every minion. So, if I'm blasting his minions, it's giving me more space to breathe. I'm trying to line up a double Q here. And we got it. You generally don't want to throw out your cage like that, because then he'll do that. I'll go ahead and reset. I can get back my corruption potions and whatnot. Against champions that have dashes that can go through your cage, so blinks or flashes and whatnot, you want to hold it until they've already used it. We'll go ahead and go... We'll go for some armor. That's going to kill him. Rest it. Pepperoni's Echo. Missing a bit of CS more than I'd like to be. We'll set up a rock right there. Nice. Getting a lot more. Got the cannon. Good stuff. We need to get another ward down, run away from Nidalee. Yeah, suck it, Nid. Junglers hate it when their ganks don't work. They're less likely to come back if they don't get a successful gank on you. That's why it's really important not to die from one. Because if they hit you with one, they're likely to keep coming back. Ah, oh, I missed, missed a minion. Damn. There we go. We haven't been hitting him with as many grass lately. Now that his dash is on cooldown, now we just got his flash. Since he'd already burned it, then we could cage on top of him, get something going. Could set up a double Q here, I think. There we go. Every time you last hit something with your Q, you get permanent mana, or if you hit an enemy champion with an ability of any kind you get permanent I'm, I'm sorry permanent ap so yeah last hitting things with your q permanent ap hitting champions with abilities in general you get permanent ap vagars are used to do more damage the more ap the enemy had so against mages you could legit one shot them with your r back in the day oh i ran out of mana so i missed the cannon that sucks I literally, like, after I used the rock, I went to use my Q. I needed to use a Corruption or a Biscuit there. I'm going to go ahead and back. If we're going to be building tank items, we might as well go full out and just, like, rush Frozen Heart or something. I don't want to die from Zed all-ins, and I don't want to uh, die ever. That's the goal. 
So we're, we're kind of like a rise if you think about it. We're gonna be rushing Frozen Heart. After Frozen Heart, we could get like Randuin's, grab our tier two boots, we could look for Dead Man's, but we do need some mana. We're running out a lot. So he just wasted his dash. We could look for an all in on him. Set up the rock. His dash is gonna be up soon. I gotta keep that in mind. Oh, I actually missed the Q on it. I hit him. Nice. His dash is on a cooldown again. Oh, Nidalee's here. Terrific. She's dead. <laughs> that was a fun little gank. Normally when junglers ganks don't work on you, they just don't come back. This Nidalee was determined. I haven't seen a jungler that determined in a while. Much easier to last hit the caster creeps with your Q because they're squishier. I'm, and I'm tanky enough to survive. Cool. Even through his ignite. And we get the kill. Awesome. Good job. See, guys, if we didn't go tank, Zed would have definitely killed us there. And we would have probably had to burn our flash. Once you get a fill for how much damage your rock does, you can use it to help you last hit with your Q. Like I did there. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, I guess we'll max our E second. Seems like it's worth it. Seems very much worth. I'll smell you later, Nidalee. See you next year. <laughs> She's such a goofball. Why does she keep coming back? Nice spear land, though. I should have just juked. She had no kill pressure unless she landed it. All right, cool. We got our frozen heart. We'll go ahead and buy boots now. We have a control ward on us, and we still have corruption potion. Should be able to beat this Zed in fights. Their team is very melee heavy. The only way they could get a pick on me is if Ash lands an R, so I might even pick up a Banshee so they can't pick me. Because the only way they're going to get me is with an Ash R. Nothing else is going to get us. Oh, got those. Awesome. We're going to set up a rock on front line here. Get this pushing. Miss those. That's all right. Even if you miss a couple of minions, as long as you keep landing double Qs, you'll scale up. Got him. Got him again. I'm gonna need to get some damage on these before I queue. He's wanting to hit me here. I can tell with the way he's posturing. <laughs> he's not doing any real damage though. His dash is on cooldown. I could look to all in him. We hit him with a rock at least. There we go, got those. His pokes are ineffective. Might be able to get. It. Nice, I got them. Awesome. Got both. Just had to position for it, get really close so my Q would get there sooner. I'm actually doing all right. I'm surprised my team's playing around me this time. We're doing all right at the moment. This Nidalee really wants to fight. Get our grass bottles on him. Nidalee's still backing him up. Very cute. She needs to come from the sides. She's not gonna be able to get me like that. Zed can't put the type of pressure on me that she needs to get the kill. We'll drop our W and we'll clear out. I can TP back. 
We're up CS, we're up kills, no deaths. We're in a really good spot. My team doesn't care about top, says Renekton. Feels bad. Turns out his team doesn't care about him, guys. It's a sad day for Renekton players all around the world. Yeah, I guess I'll grab a... Uh, I'll grab a Themis Chains. This item's kind of broken. And it's a tanky item as well. You're not going to get this cannon, Zed. Rip. We have 94 bonus AP. That is more than a needlessly large rod. I'm trying to pull this over so I can get the... Uh, wanted to get the melee and the range. Minion there. Cannon minion was in my way and we got both nice stacking them up we're at 100 free AP awesome you can get your grasp ooh you can get your grasp up really easily with corruption potion all I'll have to do is walk away Zed knows he can't he should know he can't I mean, who does he think he is? An assassin? I'm a tank. Tanks beat assassins these days. This Nidalee's being a pest. She's about to get it. You're dead. Stay on him with my autos. I'm gonna drop my rock behind him. He's a little bit faster because of tier twos. I needed to rock and cancel one of those autos. I would have had it. I'll set up this melee. Nice. We're gonna put the rock only on the cannon here. I'm trying to get both of them. The range creep almost died. That was three permanent AP. Hit him with the grasp. Mm. I think I could kill him when my R comes back up. Oh, I missed two melees there. That sucks. I missed two melees. Even with a grass proc. <laughs> that was worth it. The turret did no damage. I'm going to push this and reset. 324. Not bad. Getting down as many autos as I need to keep getting the doubles. If I had turret demolish, I would have taken his turret by now, I think. I'm gonna keep my grasp up. I really want to keep my grasp up. It's gonna fall off here. I'm gonna get another word down on her wraps. Get me some much needed vision. Oh, he actually backed. That surprises me. He I didn't I really didn't think he was gonna back there. Get one auto down on each. Once you get a feel for how much health the minions have, you can even click on them. That way you like know when your Q is going to work properly. Because if you're not getting the kill on them with the Q, then you're not getting the permanent AP. We're at 133. Ooh, what the heck? Something just hit me. We're at 133 AP, which is more than any AP item in the game gives on its own. All right, we got a Themis Chains. We're going to be unkillable for Zed. We're already resisting 61% physical damage, and then a Themis is going to make him do 20% less damage to us. So we're going to click that on him right there. You would put it on the most fed person on their team. Once we're team fighting, I'll probably put it on Ash. But for now, I'm still solo laning, so we'll put it on... I'll put it on the Zed for now. We're at 133 AP. Drop the rock. And I think this is first turret. It's a lot of gold. Awesome. You can't kill me, buddy. He had the flash away. His dash must have been on a cooldown. If he all ends me, he'll do like 400 damage.
You're in trouble, Nidalee. She flashed right as I clicked my R. I don't think my R would have quite gotten her, though, because she flashed a lot of Echo's damage as well. And we're going to keep on farming this Q. It's doing 337 there, so I literally have to auto it once or it's not going to kill. All right, that's another plus. I think it gives two for cannons. Yeah, so it's two for cannons, one for normals. Not bad. Dude, I am getting just stunned for years. Amun was actually doing a bit of damage to me. He's dead, though. That Ashar was not fun to deal with. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead as they come. That was not worth... <laughs> that wasn't worth it. Amun did so much damage. Amun hit me with his R, his Ignite. Then I got Ash stunned for three and a half seconds. Yeah, look, I got CC for six seconds. Holy crap. Dang. Mm, what else should we get? It's a tank item. We could go gargoyle. The gargoyle would be good. We could go force of nature. You know, I'll get dead man's. We'll stick. We'll stick going full tank. I'll round off my build with uh, like a Robidon. That way we can take advantage of our passive. And then we'll probably end the game at that point. I want the Sork Shoes because I'm doing all AP damage. I don't think I'll need Merc Treads because I'll be the way that I'm positioning. And even if they're focusing me, they shouldn't be able to kill me. My teammates are there with me. Ron Emthar Grass Bottles doing some serious damage. He's dead. Drop the R. We're still full health with Grass Bond. I mean with uh, Corruption Potion Burn. Nice job, Nautilus. My W was a little sad there. It's alright, we got the kill. Still pretty much full HP. Very nice. Awesome. We're not even bothering to roam because they're just coming to me. And that's okay. I accept that. Got our W. You need to be smart when you place your W. You don't want to, like, put it on the edge of your cage. You want to put it to where it still hits them, even if they are on the edge. Because they can't walk past your... It's a circle. So you want your circle to be within the circle, not out over layering on the outside of it. Unless they're on the outside of it, but most likely they're on the inside of it. Yo, Lake, thank you for 13 months, man. Uh, give me this cannon, baby. Oh, 196 AP. We are at 198 AP right now. We're at 199. And 201 AP, ladies and gentlemen. I know I could kill this guy right now. Actually, I am out of, uh, you know, I'm actually out of uh, mana. If I had mana, I could just Q arm. I don't have enough for both. So I'm going to back off. Do you see how little damage he did? <laughs> He's a full item. Full item plus serrated dirt plus ignite electrocute. He couldn't kill me. I was, I was already low health. All right, let's get dead mans. So Got to go zoom, zoom fast. We'll sell that, buy more of this, and let's get back out on the map. The center? Nah, Vagar's Rock does the same amount of damage no matter where you put it. That'd be cool if it did more in the center. A lot of times you want a W immediately after you cast E so they don't have time to react. And as long as you put your W in the right spot, it'll land like 8 out of 10 times. Just depends. Or if they just walk into the wall, then obviously you'll just put it right on them. We're going to keep Corruption for the mana. 
I mean, I can just pull them to me. I think we just bring them to me and that's easier than, cause I'm not a very mobile champion. So if like, if I'm trying to chase the enemies down, it's just not gonna be good for anyone. They're trying to, they're trying to gang up on me right now. They just ash hard. Hey, they're being mean guys. They are, they are really trying to pinch me. He's dead. Oh, you're so screwed, Ash. <laughs> oh, nice job. Well played. Get him inside the cage and they're done for. They, they actually can't kill me. They won't, they won't accept that. They won't accept the fact that they can't get me. I'm not that excited about the new champion because she seems bad. Like I played her on PBE, the new champ, and she just seemed really, really awful. And that's it, guys. That's all they could handle of Tank Vagar. They just didn't have it in them. Tank Vagar pulled the soul right out of them. If you guys enjoyed this Tank Vagar commentary, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Listen.